y'all. Welcome to Donna's Farmhouse Kitchen. Well, today I am making you one of our favorites. It is an easy salsa meatloaf uh, with a little bit of spice in it and um, a whole lot of salsa. Uh, there's salsa inside. There's going to be salsa on top. The two things that we love most about this meatloaf is that it's moist and it's flavorful. So let me get started. I have about two and a quarter pounds of ground beef sirloin. Doesn't that look pretty? So <laughs> we're gonna put that in. To that, I'm gonna add a cup of breadcrumbs. Now, these are Italian breadcrumbs that I'm using. So we're gonna put that in. And one cup of mild shredded cheddar cheese. And then one cup of your favorite salsa. Now this is the restaurant style salsa. And so that's what I'm putting in. And I wanna make sure I get every bit of it because it adds to the moisture. And definitely adds to the flavor. And then I'm putting in two slightly beaten eggs. Now these are large eggs and that will bind it real well. And you know I love my garlic, so I have about four teaspoons of garlic. And this is minced. And we don't wanna miss any of that. I'm gonna put about a fourth of a teaspoon or so of cumin. Kinda of sprinkle it to your desire. And then we're gonna put some salt. Let me get this out of here because this don't need to be in here. Go ahead and put some salt in there. About three pinches. About a couple of pinches of pepper. In the meantime, I do have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some gloves. I also um, sprayed two loaf pans. I'm gonna freeze one of these and we're gonna eat one of these. So, um, and we'll still, we'll have leftovers after tonight, but we'll eat it again tomorrow probably, um, or have it uh, during the week for lunch. But uh, yeah, so I've just lightly sprayed my pans just to make sure it doesn't stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my gloves so I can get this mixed in really well. Okay, let's get it all mixed in. Like I said, we're going to top this with some salsa. And that's so much better than maybe doing like the ketchup mixture or just ketchup. Some people put just ketchup. The salsa just adds so much more to it and it also locks in the moisture. Now you can have this with some like Mexican rice. It's really good with that. That's a great side for this. You could do some pinto beans. You could actually add some black beans to this. And if I had it, I would, because uh, I have done that before. I have put black beans in this before. I'm gonna pat it down. So I can get it nice and even across. So I can take it across the middle. You can see the cheese all in there. I 
it's gonna be so good. Like I said, when you put the salsa on it, it locks in that moisture, keeps it nice and moist and yummy. Okay, now, so you take the gloves off. And I have some leftover salsa from the first jar. It's from Aldi, and I'm just gonna put that on top. and go ahead and open up my second jar. I'm actually gonna stir this because it really needs to be stirred first because all the thickness was down at the bottom of the other one that I didn't stir. So go ahead and stir it. Put that on there, that on there. <laughs> That's a lot of salsa. Usually I don't put this much, but I have it, so I'm gonna use it. So. You don't have to put a thick layer like this on it if you don't want to. So now they're all ready to go in. Like I said, that's a nice layer. Now you don't have to do it that thick if you don't want to. You can do it like a nice thin layer like you would normally do your ketchup but it's really up to you. So when it comes out, you have a nice thick layer of salsa on top. You can do that just like I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and get these in the oven until the thermometer reaches 160 degrees. Well, y'all look at this meatloaf. Yum, yum. It is really nice and juicy. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice into it is still warm because it hasn't been out of the oven for that long. Um, but I did put them on plates so they can cool because like I said, one's gonna go in the freezer. So I wanna make sure that one's completely cool. And then the other one is gonna go in our bellies tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna slice this. Go ahead and take that end piece. Leave that there. Yeah, all you need is a butter knife to slice it. And it's nice and tender. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Mm, this is good stuff right here. Get a little bit of that salsa on it. Mm. I can taste that, that little bit of cumin that I put in. I can taste it. This is really good. Like I said, with some Spanish rice, it's gonna be really yummy. And by the way, this took about an hour to cook both of these, to get them to the 160 degree point. So, so go ahead and make this for your family, make it for your friends, have your friends ever have a wonderful meal with them. And uh, y'all have a wonderful night. And thank you for subscribing. Y'all have a great night, bye-bye.